Okay, so unfortunately, despite being such a popular app that has been out for many, many years now, Procreate still does not have an inbuilt function to create an outline around an object. So in this video, I'm going to teach you a couple of methods that you can use to create an outline around an object, and you can just choose whichever one is the most easy for you. Okay, so starting off strong with the first example, which is purely using the selection tool. We've got this lovely drawing to demonstrate. I'm going to duplicate this layer. Um, everything is on one layer. I'm going to duplicate by selecting the layer, then I'm going to slide from right to left, click duplicate. We're going to select that bottom layer and we're going to go to the top and find this selection tool. Then once we've done that, we're going to select automatic selection at the bottom here and then we're going to select the outside of the drawing. Then we're going to go to feather and we're going to increase the feather amount however much you want and then press the color fill button. So what this will do is this will fill it with the color that you have selected. Uh, in the top right however you'll see that this creates a glow rather than a solid outline. To fix that we select that under layer again and we use the selection tool we select on the shape and then we can swipe towards the right with our finger to select that haziness around the outside. Once we press color fill it will fill the whole thing in with a solid color and you'll see that that haziness is no longer there because you selected the whole shape. And there you have your outline. So the second way is to use Gaussian Blur for a smaller outline. We start by duplicating the layer. Then on this layer underneath, I'm going to take the brightness all the way down so that it is black, um, which allows it to become a solid color that you can then easily fill in with any color that you like. In my case, this is blue. Once we've created the layer with the colour that we want, so the solid colour, we go up to the little magic wand tool up in the top left and then we're going to select Gaussian Blur and Gaussian Blur it by just a little bit, I'd say below 5%, um, otherwise it's not going to look good. Then we can start to duplicate this Gaussian Blur layer because as you can see it's a halo and we want it to be solid so we're going to duplicate it so swipe from right to left to duplicate it uh, and then we are going to merge it with the layer below and we're going to keep merging until it becomes a solid color and voila this only works for a small outline though otherwise it will start to look weird the more you try and create a bigger outline with this method. Okay, next method I'm going to show you, we're going to do the Gaussian Blur again, except we're going to use the selection tool. So we're going to duplicate that layer, make it a solid color, and then we are going to Gaussian Blur it a bit more than we did before. So we're doing 4% this time. Um, and then we're going to go to the select tool, automatic, click on the shape that we just made and then we'll drag our finger from the left to the right to select the whole shape like we did before and then we'll press color fill and bam. This is a good method if you want to use the Gaussian Blur method um, but it gives you a bit less control on how big you want it to be compared to the feathering method that I showed you before. Thank you for watching and I hope that you found these tips helpful.